Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Warrior in the arena. We have three wins so far, just one loss. Pretty good deck. Let's see how we'll do. Alright, we have... Hmm. Well, that's probably one of our weakest cards in the deck. That one too. You have the coin though, but this is just not really much of a win of a free drop. So let's toss that. And... Alright. Alright, this is a pretty nice hand. These are all cards you could use in Constructed, except, well, you can't actually use Depths right anymore, but you would if you could. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, do we want to coin anything out? Yeah, I think we... No, wait a second. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually tempting to coin out the 5 e War Axe and then play the, the Raider next turn. Mm. Ah, you know what? There's a risk of ooze, but I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> be crazy. Oh man, don't ooze me, please. The one upside, though, is that if he does ooze, ooze then, well, we have Death Spy later, right? Alright, that worked out, <laughs> even though maybe that was not a necessary risk, but... Uh, eh. uh, let's just attack the face. We have a Death Spike possibly coming up on turn 4, which means that if you play the Frothing Berserker here on turn 3, then maybe Death Spike turn 4. Alright. Huh. What? Oh, we do have the Ravaging Ghoul. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. So we do that, and then we play this, and do that. And that works pretty well. Definitely. That could have gone bad, but thankfully we had exactly what we needed. I wanted to play the Berserker this turn, but obviously that would not have been a... Well, that might have been okay too. No, because then like turn 4, like what do we do there? Uh, right, so let's uh, kill that. And then we will play the axe here. Kill that and go for the face. Wow, this is an incredible start. Like, this could barely go better. We just have everything we need here. Top quality cards in the right situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do we have lethal? <laughs> Almost right. We got like 8-12. We could silence that. Not quite there. So, um, so how do we do this? I guess we play the Frolic Berserker. Hit that, then play the Loot Hoarder after. Alright, so I think we do this. Uh, and then I guess we just get rid of that lift over here with this one. Do that, that, go for the face. <laughs> this is like so brutal. I mean, but of course, I mean, um, we could still lose, but things are going pretty well. I mean, even if it's like a holding over here, that doesn't help him very much, right? Man, this game. Alright. That worked in our favor. Let's try another game. Destroy them all. Indeed. Man. Let's have more games just like that. That was so satisfying. Just like... Having the perfect answer to everything. And him never having the answer to anything. So yeah, that, that, I like that. Okay, Mage. And... We don't have the coin this time, so we need a 2-drop. Yeah, we need a 2-drop, so I kind of want to keep the Yeti, and I probably would if I also had a 2-drop, but we do not. Hmm. Oh, well, solid stuff, but still no 2 up. Well, I guess we have one more turn to get it. At least we have some weapons to catch up later if we do fall behind. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna play it. 
obviously she can just fire blast it here, but if she does that, that means that she doesn't play a minion. Um, which is basically what I'm doing this for. If she does play a minion, like a, then we can play the technician with the buff here. We didn't have a 4 drop, so... Yeah, I think this was the right decision. I mean, because like now we're in a fine situation, it's fine. Whereas if he didn't play that guy, then it could have been less fine. She still has the coin. Uh, let's see, she played a Yeti, that would actually be really annoying, but... What to do? Well, hopefully that's what not the case. Do? Kind of annoying. Now, if we had another free drop, then we could reversing switch from that instead and play the free drop. But we don't. Unfortunately, Death Spite here doesn't help us very much. Ah, that's so inconvenient. And we could play Scarab, but. This is nothing like last game. Uh, I think it probably is better to um, to do this. We do have the death spite for next turn, unless of course there's an ooze, right? But again, like at least if that gets ooze, that's a lower chance that Gohal gets ooze later. It's not ideal, I really didn't like last turn, but we do have pretty good stuff coming up, like the Spectral Knight. Turn 6, not quite sure about it yet, but that's time. And of course we do have stuff we could do. We could do this plus the free cost card we get out of it, plus reversing switch, potentially. But uh, we will have to see what happens here. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, the question is, do we just kill it here? Mm. Yeah, I think we just kill it. We got more weapons coming up that we might actually want to play. Let's get the Spectral Knight out. So now we got the 5 rewards potentially next turn. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Hit with that turn six, seven, and then play this on turn seven. Maybe play this on turn eight. Oh, huh. all right. Really now. now we need to get the Sky Crusade out first. Okay, so what do we do here? Reversing switch could be decent. I mean, we could kill that. This one would only have one life left, but you can't hit it with Fire Blast because of the Shroud. Let's um, play the Scarab first. We'll see. Eh, none of them are really that exciting. Do we even have one? I don't think we have any of one attack minions. So, yeah. Maybe Shield Blood. Yeah. Okay. And then... I guess we shield block here. Then... We'll just do this. That's fine. Time rewinder could be useful. <laughs> <laughs> on Vino, for example. <laughs> but you'll see. I'm so happy about this route here because that's just so helpful. Versus a mage in particular. Okay. I'm okay with that trade. It already killed a Yeti. Uh, Siege engine. That doesn't look like Gohal make any sense here. Let's play the destroyer. I think it's a pretty simple choice. Huh? 
and hope that it doesn't get polymorphed or fire lanced or fireballed, even though there's a decent chance that something will happen to it, unfortunately. Still hoping for the best. She does have a lot of cards. Thankfully, we have a good amount of cards as well. Well, do you have removal? That's the question. I wonder. Me too. Death Lord. Sure. Hmm. Well, that's annoying because now we can't kill the Death Lord. Ah, the go house is one shot. Um, so what do we do here? I wonder. Nothing really springs out at me as being particularly strong. Could get another taunt out. Is it like, does she wanna? We could just play Siege Engine Armor up, get it into a 5 6. We could play the 5 e War Axe. I mean, we have Gohal coming up soon, but hitting that one time might be decent. Eh, let's try it. And just in case she has like an ooze or something, at least we get the ooze out here instead of. Um, on the Gohal. She picked one up since uh, we played our Death Spite. I was a little bit confused about that Death Lord. I mean, it just doesn't really make that much sense to me. Um, she's not a priest. If she was a priest, I would have been super scared seeing that Death Lord, right? That it was going to be buffed up to like a 2020 this turn, but she's not. So, what's the plan here? I do not know. Hmm. I wonder if she's trying to set up for like an AoE or something. But... Huh. Hopefully, hopefully we get the force tank from the Death Lord. It's also possible that she's gonna silence it. Okay. We must cleanse the sun well. Hmm. All right. We should clear the board, I think. That that. Death with the axe. Sure. Probably I'm up to something. Uh, it would be nice if you could get something out that um, does not die to flame strike. Oh, I can keep this one. Oh, five still dies to fire plus flame strike. Yeah, okay. So let's just. Hmm, okay, well now we can use our Vino in case we need it to. And we want stuff that does not die to flame strike. Let's just arm up. Okay. And we got plenty of stuff out there. We don't want to set even more up for AoE. And thankfully, Flame Strike would leave some stuff alive. And she does not have it, because I think she would have used it. Or at least considered it heavily instead of just playing something right away. Uh... 
I think we just kill that. Armor up. Let's just hold on to the drilling blades in case we need it for something specific here. Coming up. I've got the beast in my side. What? Oh man. Never expect the the big game hunter. Ah, okay, well, we definitely need to keep in mind that she has that. Uh, let's see, we got 12, 13 damage. Not quite enough, pretty close though. I think we just play the force tank here. Nope! 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 That was an error. That was... What in the world? Oh! Let's just forget this happened. Like, I time rewind it, we forget everything. Oh, man. I don't... I don't have words. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're moving on here. Moving on. And I'll just play... I think there's a bunch of stuff. And then if you will kill that and enter. <laughs> okay. I, I now I really just wanna finish this game so we can move on to another one because that'll like just haunt my thoughts until the end here. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Fire blast, and we got 4, 10, 11 damage. Alright. Let's just do this. Oh, wait. Well played. We have one shot, actually. Um. I still kind of like the extra attack on that one. So. I guess we cannot play... Yeah, we cannot play the Ravaging... Well, we could play the Ravaging Quill. We can't play the Force Tank Max, though. That's just a, this a weird thing, right? Because she's never gonna play the... Um, the Big Game Hunter. Because she knows she has a Force Tank Max. All right, let's see if we can keep any uh, minions alive here. Okay. Well played. Well played. Well played. Strike. All right, finish it off with Gohal. That always feels good. And then we'll play uh, move on here to another game. We're up at five wins so far. Let's see if we can uh, make it six. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. New game. Fresh start. And looks like we have some decent stuff early on. Another mage. No surprise there. Unfortunately, the mage does. Very well against all these one HP minions. Um, so I think I'm just gonna. T this one is just so poor versus a mage, but I mean it's almost. It's probably better to just play the scarab to be honest. Turn one, play that. She fire blast, play that. Then she plays. Then again, and she. That's turn three, so that might actually be inconvenient for her. Let's just keep the weapon smith. We could play that on turn three. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's fine. 
the most important thing is that we keep the board. And sure, she can fire blast stuff, but that doesn't give her tempo lead. It's the only value that she gains. Oh, don't do it! Oh, nope! I did not enjoy that. Alright, well, let's see. Tidehunter, she fire blasts. Uh, let's see. I'm okay with that. The nice thing is that that gets. To, well, if you want to play the weapons, you could also play Death Spite. And then, like, if that gets down to one life from killing that 1 1, we could just. Yeah, that could work out pretty well. Um, other than that, we could play the armor smith. That doesn't really have to work that well. Race of Fin Hunter? No, because we don't want to use the coin on this turn. Definitely not. So I think we're just gonna play the Tide Hunter here. And if she fire blasts and she only has one mana left, so she probably can't really use for anything. Um, and if she doesn't, well, that's fine too, right? Okay. So then let's just play. Yeah, it's gonna be Death's Bite here. And we did that, and I think we just go for the face with this one. I'm sure she can trade here if she wants to. There's no reason for us to do it for her, though. Don't think so. I mean, even if she plays an ooze, the Mad Bomb is gonna die, so. Feeling relatively safe about that. Oh man, that could have been so beautiful if it didn't kill ours and it killed hers. That's not exactly what happened though. Alright, so I think I like uh, Bloodhoof Brave here. Do you want to kill that first? Hmm. We do have another weapon coming up, but it's not that good of a weapon. I think I like just playing this one here and then keeping the weapon. It trades very well with that. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, so now, what do we do exactly? Hit that, kill that, or maybe just ignore it actually. We can always kill it next turn with that if we need to. Definitely want to get rid of that, and probably want to do it with the weapon. So then maybe just play the siege engine. Yeah, let's just play the siege engine. We'll kill that first. And then we'll probably go for the face with this one. Oh, there's no real reason for us to trade here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she does it for us. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! So many mad bombers, and they're all working in her favor. <laughs> oh man! Thankfully, we can like be fine, but jeez, those mad bombers! All right. <laughs> like if she had just gotten a little bit unlucky with one of the mad bombers, we would have a, a bigger lead than we already have. Okay. Getting pretty close to lethal. We also have to be careful though, because we don't have that much life ourselves. Um, so we got 10, 10, 12. This one doesn't really make too much sense. Maybe we draw a card. Okay, let's draw a uh, We also could reverse health. That. For example. Um, 
Ah, kind of just hitting it with the weapon is probably fine. Let's buy the armor smith first to get a little bit of armor. Buff that one up too. And. Uh, hit that. Kill that. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. So, wait, she has two fireballs to get dead. Ugh. That's a little scary. I have to think though that she would have used the fireball last turn if she had one. Maybe. I don't know. What to do? Hope she doesn't have it. Okay, now I feel safe. Hmm. We can reversing switch on that. And I think we will. Yeah, okay. Do that. Join or die. Then um I think we played these two. Okay. Hope she doesn't have a AoE though. That could be pretty brutal. Okay, feeling safer now. As even if she drew it here, she probably wouldn't be able to play it. Uh, no spells for the Flame Raker. Good. So we have Leaf Lift this hits the face. Uh, let's get this one out first. And then, just in case it doesn't. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, I think we just go for the face then. And play this. Or maybe we shouldn't have played that actually. Just in case she has AoE now. Uh, thankfully, if we do draw. Oh, yeah, we have easy default here. Okay. Good. Well, things are going very well. Up to six wins here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.